Hi, Adam here. Sitting down on a cold winter's morning, grabbing a cup of tea, and I was just reflecting on um, something I've seen various times over my career, where low pay in a company is inadvertently being reinforced by the current low pay. So actually trying to fix it um, means that actually there's the, an obstacle uh, that is perpetuating this sort of cycle of low pay. I've seen this in various guises over the years, but one of the clearest that always sticks with me is a, a consultancy job several years ago where we were asked to look specifically at just an IT function uh, within an organisation. So, uh, yeah, not the whole organisation for a change, but very much just uh, they felt they had a real problem uh, recruiting for their IT roles in London and that there were complaints about the pay and they wanted to try and understand their situation and where they sat. So... Uh, came in, we got the data sources, we got the employee data and we did the work and uh, so far so normal and in fact uh, it came out and yes very much they were down at the uh, the lower quartile of the market data so uh, typically the bottom of the range um, that I would use as kind of like a, the market range but one thing that was slightly unusual, uh, a lot of the clients we worked with didn't have salary ranges uh, in place. They were smaller organisations or they were growing and evolving and maturing. But this organisation did. Um, so I actually thought I'd take a look and I actually benchmarked the salary ranges themselves against the market data. And to my surprise, the salary ranges were aligned so the bottom of their salary range was down around the bottom of that lower quartile and the top was around the upper quartile, which is, again, the, uh, the other end of it. So you had this situation where actually they had the right salary data already. They were using the right salary ranges, but everybody was clustered down at the bottom end. And uh, we fed that back and we uh, helped to try and delve into it and understand what was going on and actually yeah it was just this situation that they had this legacy situation they had brought people in they'd hired them they were all down at the bottom end um, or rather they were at this particular level of pay they put in ranges they were found people at the bottom but when they were hiring new people they did not want to bring them in over the existing people and this is quite an important part of uh, the reward agenda, that when you are trying to set a salary, you're taking account of both the external market, so the salary survey data, but also your internal market. So what are you currently paying for a role? Uh, what's the equity of it? But as you can see, in this situation, they were trying to be fair to the existing people by not bringing people in over them, but actually they were perpetuating a low pay situation. And the thing is, you see that many times, that actually companies will know that they have an issue, that they're struggling to attract or retain. But the issue isn't so much that they don't recognise they should be paying more externally. The issue is that they're already paying a bit too low internally. And obviously, if you want to bring everyone up 10%, say, that's going to be quite an expensive hit. And then really, that's where consultancy uh, sometimes comes in. Um, you need a third party to come in and just say, no, 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 look, they're being reasonable. You're paying low here. And it helps build the business case for uh, justifying that larger increase. But yeah, so when it comes to tackling low pay, if you're struggling to attract or retain, one of the important questions you can ask yourself is simply, is part of our problem that we are being held back by existing low pay? Are we reluctant to pay people more than our current employees? And if that's the case, you need to take a good, hard look and ask yourself, should we be doing something serious about our existing employees? All right, just a short one. Thank you very much for uh, taking the time to uh, listen to this and cheerio.